Good morning, fellow Crusader Kings, and welcome to Crusader Kings. It'd be a bit bizarre otherwise, wouldn't it? We are here on our adventures as King Fat Arm Ironheart of Iceland. Quite like that as a full title. Uh, of House Godslayer, of course. Our somewhat lunatic man, that hereditary madness seeping in once again. We have a few goals lined up. Just want to say thank you all for for your continued support on this series. I've I've literally just got home. Uh, it's very very late. Oh, it's it's 4 a.m. right now. Trains were cancelled. Yada yada yada. You know how it is. So I apologise if this episode comes out a little bit later than usual. But I was going through all the uh, all the comments that I normally do. But what I did notice was the amount of likes this series was getting was was gigantic. Uh, so I appreciate the support on that. Particularly coming back to Crusader Kings 2. You know, a very old game, which. Definitely had its golden age on the on the main channel, of course, but it's it's done really well. I'm kind of surprised, so glad you're all enjoying it, more to the point, because I was a little bit not sure if I wanted to start a Crusader King series, but here we are. So I did go through all the comments I could, given the current time span, uh, or I should say time frame limitations here. So the big one is a lot of people reminded me that we actually still have Old Germanic in Iceland. Because we, of course, converted over and it only changed our capital. Um, and more specifically, I think we converted our capital but didn't bother with any of the others. Because, of course, we got here after it was reformed or something like that. Might be the other way around. Either way, it doesn't matter. The point is we need to convert it. So I'm going to get our seer on it. I did check this already, but he's only got a 4% um, county conversion. Oh, it's up to 9.4%. Why? I'm not even kidding. A moment ago, I checked it and it was only 4%. But hey, 10% chance yearly? That's... Potentially incredible. Um, make him our mistress. All right, that's the other thing. Okay, I did kind of do it as a joke, but I won't grant the mistress title out anymore. <laughs> I complained about how terrible it is, and then, of course, I kept doing it, but it was kind of fun. So we did also get the artifact search. That's right. I I've got to kind of remember what point we were at with everything. Um, we've got the artifact search, which is incredible. So our most skilled counselor we want looking for that artifact. Um, to be honest, they're all very good. I don't remember who I've got doing it already. Uh, you're not. Was it our marshal? You're not either. Was it our steward? Uh, our steward is looking for the artifacts. So, this is just an event whereby you can uncover artifacts. So, I was talking about this in Discord a little bit the other day. But when you start a Crusader Kings 2 game, one of the few things that are randomized game to game is the actual artifacts. They don't always have a guaranteed chance to spawn in. So, with this many artifact mods we've got, it seems like there's a lot of art artifacts floating around, but there are some that have just quite simply not exist in the game. By using this event, the artifact search, you can find those rarer artifacts. It's quite a rare event, because of course you're essentially spawning in fresh rare stuff. So, by changing over the guy looking for it, it will lose some of the progress to it. But given that we haven't made any progress, doing this right now is, is definitely the right call there. So hopefully we can find something cool, because I, I, again, I was watching Elise play, and she has like loads more Norse artifacts in her game than we have in ours. So she has like a Brissing Gammon. Again, I'm not entirely sure how to spell it, but I'm pretty sure that would bring it up, right, if we did have that. Um, I want to find... So let's make a short list again of those relics that we don't have. And as a reminder, uh, we have Anfaranaut, which we're not going to equip anymore. We have Galahorn, which is incredible. Something that our, our great-grandfather died trying to get. Gungnir is our main weapon. We can actually use Braggy's Heart now, because at the end of yesterday, we got Gregarious, which is just insane. So that's really, really nice. Plus three diplomacy, plus 15 sex appeal. Apologize that I'm explaining this all again, especially if you're bolt watching these. But for me, it's been a few days, so it's kind of for my benefit more than anyone else's. I kind of want to unclutter our inventory a little bit. I'm also going to look at this book mod and try and work out why the books don't give stats, whether there's a reason for that. Maybe you have to study them. Because I notice, like, look, when I hover over it, study three out of ten. Makes me wonder if there's an event associated with it where you, I don't know, get better bonuses from the book? I'm not entirely sure. Or oh, based on the book that you've got equipped, it might give you a modifier. I, I don't know. Might be a better way to represent books, because you don't just equip a book and like, immediately know everything about it. I, I get that they're kind of maybe trying to get you to study it in that sense. We're doing really good for artifacts. We do need a couple more, though. i got a lot planned for today. So let's go ahead and mark this guy. Son of Fenrir. What a fucking guy. Of course, he's the guy who stole our Roman helmet, so I'd like to get that one back, too, if that's, uh, if that's not a problem. He's got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, very high-quality bracelets there. Exquisite ancient pottery, glass hand mirrors. It's got some kind of cool stuff that I'll try and steal from him at some stage. Then we want a uh, Yarn Gripper, which is Thor's Gauntlet. And this guy hasn't even got that equipped, so we could try and steal that. In fact, we can try and steal that right now. That'd be a hell of a start if we immediately grab that. We'll come back to that in a second then. Um, what else are we doing? Right, so our big long-term goal, of course, is getting our uh, Hemo Arc. Which is the is it hemophiliac, hemophant, and then a hemoarch, I think, being the top tier one. We've got to do a lot of human sacrifices for that. In the progress, 
uh, in the in progress towards that, we should hopefully get the Viking trait too, which is for burning down holdings when you've been like 50 or whatever. You get Viking, and then you can upgrade that to Sea King um, or Sea Terror and shit like that. So two scaling artifacts that would be fantastic for our character to get. I also think, bizarrely enough, I'm going to drop out the Wolf Warriors. We've done everything we can with it, and it's, it's going to be a long time, I think, before we're capable of making that Bloodline again. Our guy's 45. I think he will die before that becomes relevant. I think that we'll fall into the same trap we fell into last time where our guy will either start the quest and die and we'll miss out on it, or chances are we'll just die before we even kick it off. So I'm going to leave the Wolf Warriors. And instead, given our character, given his traits, his backstory, everything, I think we'll join the Berserkers, which is uh, obviously another separate society there. It's one of the orders of chivalry societies. But this one is kind of high risk, high reward, uh, as it describes itself there. Uh, chances of death in the Berserkers is higher than usual, but they receive extra rewards after missions and better passive bonuses. So that, that also gives us this uh, bounty board, which is kind of cool. If there is any bounties near us, we can go and hunt those down and try and get some money for it. Not that we're too worried about this at this point. But at the highest level, we can potentially get another bloodline with the Grand Champion power. We have to defeat 10 pretenders to our title. We get a new bloodline. And this one is kind of cool as well in that every single rank in the society is uh, is something you have to fight for. Ooh, okay. Uh, somebody said it's a shame that we didn't get one-eyed as kind of a representation of Odin. Do we want to get go for the 25% chance of losing an eye? I mean, the negatives to that are... Lower personal combat skill, which to be fair is about to become very relevant. We gain higher same trait opinion of other people who are one-eyed, but pagans gain opinion of us. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I'm going to kick the cat. I think I'll go with kick the cat. He's cruel, he's possessed. Nice. There you go. Briefly, you could see it coming. Perhaps you could have acted differently to avoid this. You are now one-eyed. Hindsight is 50-50. It should be, I guess, 25-25 at this point, huh? Wow. And to be fair, our personal combat skill is still very good. Oh, there you go. Hjalmar's already making steady progress in the search for the artifacts. I'm just going to make sure my window's shut. It's really cold in here. <clears throat> just a cold day, I suppose. Okay, good work, Hjalmar. And, ah, oh, more tech points. Now, somebody said... I, I was kind of musing on the idea of building a wonder. Because that's our current goal, right? Or, or a great work. Build a great work to at least stage two. I don't think our guy is going to be able to do that. Uh, quite simply because he's, he's 45. We're talking decades and decades of work. It's possible we could do it, but very unlikely. Um, oh. Oh, we're trying to win our wife over. I remember. Oh, she already loves us. I mean, there's not really much point, but I guess we'll meet in private for deep discussion, winky face. How deep that discussion goes is uh, entirely down to her, I guess. Let's see if she's up for that. And what are our kids like? Let me just try and remind myself here. Oh. Hours pass and the discussions continue. We come to an impasse about the nature of the universe with Mark of Favor and I together at one side of the and I together at one side of the discussion. She looks at me clearly waiting for me to make the first line of reasoning. Are we are we arguing with her? Or is it is it us? Me and her on the same side against someone else? Because I don't want to upset her. I also don't want to risk losing ambitious. So you know what? We'll go for that option. The discussion continues into the night, but there is but the other side yields their points one by one. There is no doubt that Mark Favor and I are undisputed winners. That's good. That's nice. Okay. Just kind of hoping she'll love us eventually, you know. She should join me next time as well. There you go. Plus 10 opinion. She had much fun throughout the discussion. Fantastic news. Right, how are our kids looking? Slurva uh, is terrible. You know, that's what people were saying in the comments quite a lot as well, that we really should aim for... Oh, dear. We really should aim for equal backgrounds for our characters. Uh, sorry, equal inheritance for our characters. Uh, wait, she's our daughter, is she? Oh, no, I remember we adopted her, didn't we, with the dungeon master. Right, got it. Um, but, like, she is incredibly good. She's got 30 martial at the age of 17. That's fucking insane. So if we could get her to be our successor, we would be set up immediately for the next generation. We can go Agnatic Cognatic now, which is quite nice. Absolute Cognatic I would prefer, but we do need uh, gender equality all. So Absolute Cognatic is women inherit on the same grounds that men do, and Agnatic Cognatic is men are preferred. But if we get the Elders to like us... Oh, oh we're on Gavelkind anyway, aren't we? Fuck. What if we go like... um, Elective Gavelkind, Agnatic Cognatic? That might work. 
and then we just pick a daughter, and then we, we would have to give away the other duchy. Now, I don't want this land over here. We inherited it. I would much rather. I think it would just be way more interesting from, from our perspective if we, again, give that to another branch of our family, and we just let them see what they can achieve over there on Scandinavia. So I think we say Agnetic Cognatic for sure. And then I would love to, if possible, flip over to this. Oh, of course, we can't change it now, can we? Because we just changed it. That's all right. That's a classic gavel kind. Is that any... We could kill our sons. And to be honest, given that they are shit, would our guy do that? I'm asking if the guy who's cut out hundreds of peoples of hearts and sacrificed them on an altar would be uh, against maybe killing some of his useless shit kids. I, I think it's maybe up for debate. I, I'll, I'll reflect on the comment section a little bit before I before I double down on that. So look, we've got Elfhilda over here. She's from a very, very distant branch of our dynasty. Our grandfather, Triggy Leathernecks, is not even his, his you know, uh, it's matrilineal that she's coming down there. So this is Varma's, like, uh, other son. So it's like, again, a very distant cousin. Let's throw her. We just give her the Yaldum of Finmark. Oh, that would be good. And then she can just do her own thing over there. That'd be kind of fun. Okay. Uh, the council aren't up for it. And if we go against the will of the council, it'll be added to this tyranny. This is the first time we've really had to deal with a fucking council. Our first wife, my wife, really does not like me. So here's what I'm going to do. She's a spy master, right? She also hates me. So I'm going to be honest with you. A spy master that hates me is not ideal. So she can go. She's 44. We're going to divorce her. Oh, the Filker won't accept it. You bitch. Okay. Uh, well, that puts us in a weird place. We make our... Oh my god, she's better. We make our daughter wife spy master instead. Very good. I like that. And then she will almost certainly vote in our favor. All we've got to do is sway it a little bit. Loyalist. I'm unlanded. I should get the title. They're all loyalists. Oh, jeez. Okay. I mean, we've got the money. So what we've got to do is just start buying favors. It's impossible to invite him to court with your favor. Yes, because he's in my court. I'm well aware. Let's start bribing the councillors then. It's the first time we've really had to worry about politics, unfortunately. We buy the favors all simultaneously. Hopefully they won't mind that. Or oh, we've bought favors with everyone. There you go. Let's call in council support. And we can overthrow the council eventually. There are benefits to having councillors though. Uh, oh. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to do that, but I might as well demand his conversion, right? That way he'll respect some of our traits and things like that. Oh, there you go. My daughter is pregnant. Ah, oh, great news. <laughs> ah, well, I mean, you might say that normally, but my daughter wife is pregnant. It has a different ring to it. All right, there you go. Perfect. Now we can get on here and do that same thing. Again, I, I, it would be, uh, of course, statistically better to keep this, you know, from a pure gameplay perspective. I like the idea of just giving our family a bit more freedom. Let's kick them off. Send them out there. Ah, you bite off a large chunk of the table and spit it out as Sterla continues to drone on. The Berserk rage is upon you, but with great effort, you manage to channel it towards the table instead of Turla. Brilliant. Good work. Let's get back out there. Sorry, I, I've droned on a lot today, and we haven't really done a huge amount. But again, I'm trying to... Uh, oh, we're on uh, man, right? Just trying to remind myself what we're doing more than anything else here. So, let's get back to raiding. What is Ireland like? How are we looking for troops on Ireland? Whoa. That's not bad. Um, You know, he's not that powerful. And bear in mind, they, they are spread across essentially two countries there. I think we could hit up his capital, no problem. How many troops he got there? 1,700. Oh, God, they're all raised as well. If we boat bomb into... We could go to Meath and then see if they'll attack us. I'd be brave, but they might. He wants to invest in our economy. Go on then. I want to get that wonder. That would be a nice thing to try and get for today. There you go. Moderate foreign profit. Cheaper build costs. Now, somebody said the City of Wonders. Sorry, I think I started talking about this and then I uh, didn't finish my thought. Somebody said the City of Wonders is essentially all the other wonders in one single building. But it would take a very, very long time. It takes 13 years to build. Uh, it's 4,000 gold and that's just kind of the base level. It also costs 10 gold per month to build, which is actually insanity. That's like a lot of money. 4,000 gold. There are times in Crusader Kings 2 where 4,000 gold was unbelievable. But now it's like, it's like very regular. Uh, we've got a very grim event here. And I feel like the YouTube auto sensors would clap me for discussing that. There is, a, you would have to, I would have to flag the video in a particular way with the new monetization settings. You're welcome to read through it there, but I will, uh, we'll just move on with that. Leader, who cares? Chance of getting the trade just. Uh, what are our options then? So there's this guy who's been attacking people. Um, imprison him and give some of his wealth to us and the rest of the victims. He shall be executed publicly and his possessions will be given to his victims. I think we'd do that. Yeah. 
or the guy is going to bribe us. No, executing publicly. We're cruel. We love executing people. That's our favorite pastime. Oh, the omens surrounding my wife's pregnancy are terrible. I'm sure I'm misinterpreting the signs. I think that reduces it because of our high learning skill. We're going to absolutely roll their armies. I don't know why they attacked us. Oh, and we got Earl Kankamak. Kankamak of Derby. I'm so sorry. I'm so Any Irish people watching, I'm sorry. This is going to be a complete massacre. And I'm talking about name pronunciation. It's just going to be atrocious. They're not even going to attack anyone. They're just going to stand there menacingly. That's quite funny. Thank you. I am here for... Oh. Oh my god, she was born. Insane. Because of the great blood of Varma. Not us. You know, we're quite literally embalming corpses and putting them on display. But no, it was Varma that did it more than anything else. Oh, she's a lunatic. Shit. My daughter. Okay. Uh, well, look, that's trying to remind us of a backstory then. Lunatic characters always fun to play because they get some unique options that regular characters don't. Let's throw up in the backstory generator a second. Let's go submit and see what she ends up like. The local lord forced you to enlist in the army. Class of ranger. Ranger. You found purpose while you honed your hunting skills by bringing down dangerous animals at the edge of civilization. Oh, cool. A character dedicated to the hunting folks could be kind of fun. Getting a lot, a lot of martial in there too. Forced you to enlist in the army. That sounds like we would be forcing our daughter to enlist. So you know what? We're going to go struggle. And we're going to make sure we try and go out of our way to do that as well. Interesting. She's just like nuts. Just like completely insane hunting like, like yetis and sasquatch. Brilliant. We kind of... Oh, my wife is now known as Oakskin. God knows why. Can't miss this opportunity. So we're going to dedicate 25% of our levy size to... Uh, Looking for the artifact. He has some valuable and promising leads, but to investigate them, the search must venture into distant, inhospitable lands. Sure, of course we will. We'll, we'll happily double down on that. Oh, look. While looking in the holding, one of your men came upon a strange-looking key made of an unknown metal. As you examine it, the metal reminds you of that mysterious chest you recovered earlier. Perhaps there's a connection. We did find that when we were sieging somewhere in, in England, right? Where is the chest? Can't even see it. Ah, oh, there it is. Strange chest. Well, let's see what happens. What might we find within? The key fits the lock. I'm trembling with anticipation. You slowly open the chest. Disappointingly, it only contains a few parched scrolls that crumble into dust at your touch. Whatever wisdom they held has been forever lost to the world. You walk away disappointed. Damn it. Well, that's a shame. To be honest, the outcome from that event is, is rarely good, unfortunately. Wife, I'll be honest. You're never going to not love us. The mistress trait worked really well this time around. I think that was a good call. Right, so let's head up to wherever we haven't raided. I mean, Cumberland is a safe bet for sure. Is that recently conquered? New administration, that's good. We're not going to have many defenders then. Turn up, burn it down, get out. Never independent too. Sverker has it. My Chancellor Sverker. Oh, I thought they were saying that this was my Chancellor Sverker, this tiny child. What the fuck? Oh, he's a horse breeder. There's a whole horse breeding minigame added by uh, the Crusader Mounts mod. And this kid has, has some real good... Look at that. Fertile. More likely to breed can be better title of three times. He's got Fertile Charger. Wow. Ecstatic. Whoa. More likely to... Ecstatic is Fertile and Swift. Wowee. That's kind of cool. That's a whole minigame. I, I hope that we randomize a backstory that's like, your character is a prolific horse breeder. That would be fantastic. Uh, guards oil up the rack. Of course we're going to... Of course we're going to oil up the rack. Our guy would absolutely do that. Margareta, my daughter, wants to kill Svanhilda. My technically other, my adopted daughter. Unbelievable. This is just jealousy, isn't it? Teach of Carlisle. Sorry, Carlisle. I, like, I just need prisoners, okay? Just bring out your prisoners and all this can be over in no time. We need to go for more castles. We need to go for... Oh, what the fuck? My son? Oh, because I chose heritage. Right, okay. Uh, my son is now uh, Chinese. Because that's how it works. It, because his mother... Wait, who, who is this? Is it, oh, no. His grandmother, our character's mother, was, of course, the, the daughter of the Chinese emperor. So she's educated him to speak the language and, and respect the customs. How bizarre. Chinese Iceland? I mean, 
I chose Heritage. That's how we're going to end up. It, I mean, l legitimately, that is how we're going to end up at this rate, unless we find some way to get our daughter elected instead. Is that for the best? Well, Norse culture is quite nice. Levy size, it just gives massive, massive bonuses to combat. But then our kid would get better morale of armies, better tech spread rate, better prestige. This is a much more late game culture, I think. Oh, this is kind of a middle game culture. And I don't know that we're quite ready for that yet. We're still on Iceland, realistically. Right, let's burn down some other castles here. Uh, What should we go for? Lindisfarne? We'd have to bring the boats around. You know, let's pop over to Anglesey fast. Ah! Marshal Shalmar spent many weeks bent over ancient terms and scrolls in search for more information. He wants my scholars now. Minus 25% technological spread rate. Bit of a shame. And you know what I was going to do? I was going to go steal this man's gauntlet. Oh, no. Is he... No, he's still not able to equip it. Let's get it. Get it before we forget. Who will be our accomplice? Shall we take our marshal with us? Double down on the marshal. 39 plus 22. We could bring our spy master. Go for... And she's very, very good. That would kind of even things out. Let's... Of course. I mean, it's, it's fat arm. Of course, we're going to go for that. What is that? East France here. I mean, East France here is just insane at this point. Be the Holy Roman Empire before long. Hello. We're doing a border dispute war. That's none of my business. Thank you. Uh, we're going to marry you to... You? I don't know who these people are. They're the same family. In fact, they're brother and sister. Sold. What a great deal. That's, that's, that's very Crusader Kings right there. Uh, this is all burned down. Oh, it's been looted too recently. My bad. <laughs> no, I literally probably my bad there. Uh, convince some servants to let me in. We've got a 73% chance of success just from convincing them. So barge in the door down. 95% chance. Wow, we uh, rush them before they raise the alarm. 93% chance again. Holy crap. This is the one that we're going to struggle with because none of these are martial based. 71% chance of success. We've gotten very lucky with some of our recent raids. Oh my god, we've done it again. To make your escape, you finally feel relieved. You managed to steal one fine artifact for your collection. We have Thor's fucking gauntlet. Wow. And we can equip that right away. And we have equipped it right away. The gauntlet of Thor. Defense plus 5%. Martial plus 2. Same religion plus 5 opinion. And personal combat skill plus 8. Martial is 41. It's just insane, isn't it? Right, let's head over here then. To Difford. Oh, nice. My liege, I'm pleased to report the success of my mission to Sertaland. The population has been converted to the Germanic faith. Wow. Okay. Well, let's carry on with our goal then. We'll make this into a proper Germanic stronghold. There's no way that... Oh my god, we're already full of loot. Well, we're not full of loot, but... Uh, excuse me. Pal, you can't park there. What the fuck are you doing? Someone's beached a giant ship on the Isle of Man. We'll burn this one down. I mean, it's Pembrokeshire. There's not going to be much gold here. <laughs> See what we get. Again, we're just mainly here for the prisoners, but we're not getting super lucky with that today, unfortunately. No more of those massive, you know, halls where we drag out the entire court. Court physician Timorich has completely botched the treatment of my sister. Oh, dear. She had food poisoning. How the fuck did you botch that? Oh, it's severe food poisoning. This could kill her. Minus three health. Minus one. Minus one. She's got depressed as well. That's another minus one. She's dead. Uh, uh, is he any good? He's not great, is he? He is a renowned physician, though, so it was genuinely just a mistake. All right, easy now. He's trying his best. 10% chance our sister might become a rival with her. She's going to last all of two minutes. That's not a problem. Trust me. How are we doing? Look at that. 330 gold again. Let's get that banked. Immediately come back. Just got to try and fund that wonder somehow. Maybe we should head back over to Rome. It's been a while. And I'm, I'm what I was about to say before. Oh, God. Bjerg. What a name. Um, She's a good character. 22 learning. She knows a thing or two. All right, let's do it. I don't know who she is. Oh, she's my cousin. Yeah, that's fine. It's good to be the king. That's acceptable. Right, let's bank this. And then I want to go somewhere that has a lot of holdings. Because we're looking for prisoners, right? More so than loot. So traveling out to specifically burn down like a major holding area would be quite good. Like, like Middlesex, for example, London, would be quite good to go for. There's four holdings there. What about like uh, Paris? How's that looking? We got six in Paris. I think I might head down there. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Halston, the son of Yormagunda. Word has reached you that Halston has found the broken shackles of Fenrir. Uh, is this the beginning of uh, Ragnarok? Oh my, whoa, 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 whoa. It's an actual artifact too. The silken chain to the Great Wolf Fenrir. Now ruined and in tatters, yet still stronger than any mortal chains. 
Arrest chance, 30% learning, plus two. Same religious opinion, plus five. Wow, so that's exactly what I'm talking about. This guy just... Again, these fucking uh, characters in this playthrough doing all this crazy shit that normally you would expect it would just be the player. They've, they've gone nuts this time around. This guy's just found Fenrir's chains hanging out. Oh, he's found it. He had a well-preserved tongue. He has proof that it once belonged to a great hero. Really? That's a, that's a quality one artifact. Um, everyone shall hear of his achievements. Absolutely, they shall. And hopefully that'll encourage more people to want to look for artifacts, huh? Right, let's have a look. Tongue of a hero, where is that? Uh, I'm sure it's here somewhere, and I'm sure I'm just being... Ah, oh, there it is. Diplomacy plus one. I mean, it's diplomacy plus one. It sits in our treasury. It doesn't take up a slot, and our children will inherit it. I mean, that's a perfect little bonus. My lover, Björk, has informed me she's with my child. Is she? What are they uh, out for ice cream? Oh, no. The French are very angry. I should check how many troops he's got. Not that many. I mean, East France here has a staggering amount, but... Let's see if we can just at least knock down a little bit and then get out of here. Big courts as well down in down in this part of the world. Okay, they're coming in with 3,800 there. Can we escape? We can escape. I think we'll cut our losses on that one. Oh, my God. Oh, because the little army caught us. That's a shame. Oh, yeah, we just got fucking annihilated. Every single one of our troops gone. Uh, still too ambitious. Still too ambitious. If it isn't broke, don't, I, uh, I mean, don't fix it, huh? Right, let's head back up, and let's... Oh, what do we want to invest in? Construction, ship earning. I mean, construction gives a flat reduction to build time, build cost. We'd also like to build some other buildings. That'd be quite nice. Um, Library for learning. Chapel for piety. Guard gives some other archers. Not great, but... 5% artifact protection on the artifact room. We haven't had anyone try and steal any artifacts from us, to be fair. Uh, let's build a chapel. Sure. That's something we've kind of ignored. 69 days, too. The most holy of numbers, of course. <laughs> Can only imagine how Björk must feel. As if being unable to publicly declare our feelings for each other was not enough, she must now lie about the fruit of our love. I must visit her. Yeah, let's go see her. Uh, and we're going to break our rivalry with Thorgil. I uh, was the guy whose who's artifact we saw, right? Uh, you know what? Uh, would we forget the rivalry? No. I'll never forget my enemies. I laugh in his face. We stole his artifact. What a big bitch. There's, not, there's no rivalry here. He's he's beneath us, literally. Ah, oh, what do we want to invest in? It's, it's kind of a hard one because we do need some of these just to... If we got trade practices one, we could become a merchant republic. That would be a fucking... A strange outcome. That would be kind of fun, though. I I, I do think that merchant republics are my favorite government type. A merchant republic that can raid as well is... Something. Oh, look, we can actually just try to pay for an artifact search. 1,500 gold, 1,000 party, 1,000 prestige. Yikes. We're trying to save up prestige, right? Oh, no, no, no. We're done with that bit. We could just start building prestige buildings again. I didn't do it for ages because, of course, we were trying to get... Um, we were trying to get that bloodline, but now that's done. I suppose we'll just move on, huh? Sure. Early tribal village? Four. I, I want. Uh, I still want troops. I still go for troops. I know that we're just basically playing with retinues right now, but it's still quite nice to have. Right. Okay. Retinue ban. If we're just going for full-on raiders, get mass retinue, pay for it with gold rather than prestige. No, let's stick with tribal warriors. How many can we get now in total? 3,100. That's that's good. That's a good amount. I'm better when we got 33 boats up too. That works pretty nicely. And we are now have our chapel too. I don't think we're going to get that uh, for some reason. I really don't think we're probably going to get that wonder for today. But I'll try. Sorry, a lot of this today I know has been uh, just me kind of refreshing myself. But now I'm back into things. We can we can jump in both feet first again tomorrow. Kind of hard to remember what was going on. Uh, it seems more amorous adventure that resulted in the child. Little Astra is my spitting image. Denounce the child. Fuck you. <laughs> Should have checked her. She could have been incredible. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, can we go back? If we go back far enough, we might be able to find her. Uh, nope, nope. Did I even look at her? Oh, I didn't. Wow. That's annoying. Well, I'm sorry, little child. Oh, she's our lover, the, the person, right? Yeah, there we are. Our cousin. I could have just found her with the family tree. It's fine. No, nah, she's pretty terrible. No, 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 no sleep lost on that one, I'm afraid. Sorry, tiny child. I think we just won't bother investing in the tech points yet. Let's, let's leave our options open. I would love to go for a merchant republic, but again, I'd probably only do it if we, if we randomize the backstory to have someone who's interested in coin. 
At which point, I, I could definitely justify it. We haven't got any reason to go tribal right now. Uh, sorry, feudal right now anyway. I think we're doing fine as we are. Artifact room guard? I, I'm probably not even going to build the artifact room, to be honest. Let's go for the practice range. Let's get this fully upgraded. Maybe today alone, we could just fully upgrade our, our tribe. What do we need for, like, a bigger village? Improve keeps, construction, siege equipment. Should we do that? That seems like a good idea. That's, that's just, like, a nice safe bet. So, improved keeps. Siege equipment we can't get. Noble customs. We are already there. Improved keeps, noble customs, siege equipment. What was the other one? Construction? Was it just flat construction? Yeah, it was. Okay, we'll just start working towards that, then. That keeps it nice and open-ended. They're all useful research to have as well, so I'm, I'm all right with that. Probably should have started with construction in hindsight. We'd got more, more of a more of a short-term benefit, but that's all right. We're not playing. <laughs> Margarita, in brackets, religious conviction, gratefully accepted. Margarita, I would love to for you to inherit the realm. I would, I would love it. Ah, oh, maybe we would do it. My wife is a fucking dragon. <laughs> of course she is. I love the Dragon Society. I love the idea behind it. But I hate how easy it is for them to... Uh, to become dragons. It should be like a once in a generational thing. Like a character becoming a dragon is insane. The fact that, it, that we've seen it so bloody frequently is a bit of a shame, huh? I'm currently in search of an instructor to teach me in matters of combat, says Meng. Okay, Meng, we'll do that. These are... These are Chinese. I was just about to say he's a Chinese strategist. Why has he come to us? I mean, when it comes to military strategy, we're incredible. When it comes to personal combat, we're a bit shit. Problem with that is this guild is all about personal combat. Um, we've got too many lovers and our guy is freaking out. Of course, we'll break, break up with Berg. I mean, I is that supposed to be like Bjorg? Bjorg? B-J-R-G. I don't think that's a real name. Uh, I'm going to break up with her because we, we put a lot on the line for Queen Mark of Favor. And our good friend, the Dungeon Master, gave her to us on a silver platter. So... I, I think we'll roll with that one. Got an Earth Hill Fort. Actually, let's keep going with that, then. We'll wait while we wait for our trips to reinforce. We might as well just be blitzing this out, huh? Weaponsmith 3. Morale of armies 10%. Level reinforcement rate. Again, it's only from from here. Uh, from, from armies that we raised specifically from this holding. But it's quite nice. We could build another holding. We could build a temple. The only problem with that is if we do ever decide that we want to... We want to convert to a merchant republic. We're missing out on a free city. And I think that's probably not a, not a great idea. Right. Our shit son. Bizarrely enough, could be a good steward. What was his backstory again? I really don't remember his backstory. If anybody remembers... If you could throw me a comment, that would be helpful. Shit, because if he was the if he was a character who had anything to do with stewardship, training him in stewardship would be incredible. And I think I would love to play this idiot character and try and and give him a great story than inheriting, uh, tr than than killing off characters to end up playing as her, and using her as a, essentially just another clone of a character we've had multiple times now. Playing as an idiot child trying to found this Merchant Republic despite all odds would be kind of cool. I think that'd be a lot more fun, for sure. We had a son called Carl. Oh, what is wrong with these fucking children? Maybe our bloodline is cursed. We won't educate him for now. Carl, I'm going to call you... Carl... 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 <laughs> That's pretty good. I think I'm alright with that one. We'll see how he ends up. Oh. Whatever he did, I cannot see any improvements in his son. Okay. So he, di he didn't fuck it up or anything. He just didn't succeed. Oil up the rack. In fact, let's start... I, I mean, we've captured one prisoner today. It's not doing well, is it? We can embalm him. We obviously sacrifice him. This could be all we need. That could be the final sacrifice we need to level it up. It wasn't, tragically. But, you know, like wishful thinking. Right, let's just not... Again, let's, let's, let's just say if it's not broken, don't try and fix it. Let's get back to man. Use that as our staging grounds. Went through a lot of trouble to get that. And go from there. So let's put Margarita on there. Wow, what a, what a, what a good sub-command too. Right. The only problem with, with attacking into the UK at this stage is Ireland and, and Scotland. Wales as well to some extent. They don't really have much gold. We could go around the English coast again. Like down more towards the south. Oh, he loses Berserker. Oh, he's old. He just hit the age of 50. You no longer have the endurance of constitution necessary to sustain your berserker rage. Wow. 
An acquaintance recently returned from a trip to Constantinople. They regale with the tales of wonders of the great city. I think we've had this before, haven't we? Um, what do you want to go for? It always gives diplomacy plus one for a, a little while, but there's also a chance to gain some other stats too. Um, I guess we go intrigue or diplomacy. We actually got some diplomacy there. That's quite nice. Oh, no, no. We got that from the modifier, I'm sure. Tech points. Thank you. Oh, let's go for here. I mean, look at all the sub, sub holdings again. That's what we're after. We need plenty of shit to burn down. Oh, my God. He's Norse. Weird. I mean, that makes sense because it's York, but we want to just keep burning this place down as fast as possible. We can already rank up in the society. That'll be our massive martial score. Yeah, plus 18 per month. Bloody hell. So we've got to duel this guy to go up a next rank. He's a master of tactics. Again, good in theory, but not in practical. So let's go for it. Wow. He actually defeated us. Genuinely surprised. I mean, it is partly down to, you know, your personal combat's uh, a big part of it, but there is also a, a pretty heavy element of randomness. That's a shame. I'm actually a little bit surprised on that. Oh, well. We've got a new Filka and a new daughter as well. Uh, and same under who? The fuck is this guy? Oh, my God. Short? Sickly? I, well, our bloodline's cursed. I'm going to have to marry off my wife. Hold on. Uh, Pung wants to buy my plus two axe. You know what? We've already given our daughter the plus two axe. And when we die and we play as the next character, he's going to inherit Mjolnir and Gungnir. Oh, well, ideally Mjolnir. Of course, we haven't got that yet. Uh, I'm going to sell it to this guy. Sure. It's just an extra coin towards our wonder, huh? Wow, this is a little bit ambitious. Oh, he wants to buy our fish. Oh, I quite like fish, though. Um... Oh, fish at a discount. What's he buying? Well, we've got both equipped, so I'm not going to sell either. Uh, not interested. I guess it's because we technically have two weapons, and one is significantly better. Ah, oh, there you go. Look. We're declaring war on Quicksilver. Quicksilver? Quicksilver? I'm not going to go to war. I refuse. What? No, no. Oh, he's called Quicksilver. His father was a dragon. Right, he's half dragon. Dragonborn. That's why he's got a weird name. Got it. Someone needs... To, I'm not saying I'm going to do it. Someone needs to make a face pack where half-breeds have... Like, like a half-dragon has like some draconic features. I know it's very irrelevant most of the time. But it would be kind of cool, right? We need like a setting for that. So like I've talked about before, there's that animal world thing. Oh shit, this place is already looted. My bad. We got someone. That's a good start. There is a... Um, I'm going to sacrifice her. Goodbye. And then I'll I'll resist my foul impulse and get free piety. Ha <laughs> ha, meta game. Uh, what was I talking about? Right, so there's a game setting you can set up. This guy, Tor. We'll just grab Rocky and Tor. Uh, 61 versus 84, but we're getting old. We've done it, though. We're fine. Dual experience increases. We've been promoted to Ball, whereas he has been downvoted to Squirrel. Only the best get the higher ranks, I'm afraid, my friend. Oh! What is this? I hear tales of barbarian warlords who attacked Rome generations ago. Teller, of course, the most famous, but others are well known, such as Alaric, who sat Rome yet died soon after, or Genseric, who transformed Vandals into a Mediterranean power, the ambitious Odessa, who overthrew the last Western Roman Emperor, Romulus Augustus. Uh, oh, cool. So there's just a chance to gain some stats then, huh? Um, Attila was like the coming of the apocalypse. Hell yeah. We didn't get anything. Fuck. We will be like the coming of the apocalypse. Maybe not today. Well, you know, one day. What's this down here? Oh, this is that weird title. The Prince of Orange. God knows what's going on with that. But that seems like that could be some easy free raiding right there. Just go from Cornwall and move up. I'm on board. Can fuck with that. Let's do it. Tintagel? Yeah, don't try it. And this is exactly why raiding here is pretty nice. Because we're like right in a corner. They can only attack us from one angle. Hindu again? So many people have made jokes about that, that, we, that, that this campaign I said was going to be that kind of quintessential Iceland to India. You know, there's a fucking hell, look at the Arabian Empire. Holy shit. What the hell? Oh my god, this guy. He's got the sword of Muhammad. Holy fuck. And all these books too. I mean, they don't do anything. In theory. I wonder if they just wrote the code wrong or something. Something trivial like that. So it'd be like an easy fix. I'll, I'll take a look at some point. 
Wow. What the fuck? Is it just me? Am I just bad at this game? I mean, we're obviously role playing this time around, so that's not really so relevant, but what the fuck? They've just like. There's so many characters in this world that have just done insane shit. I mean, well, there's me like struggling to build a, a fancy city. I mean, it's one of the most expensive things in the game, so let's not say struggling. My god. Look at these fucking characters in these dynasties. It's just insane. How's Gary getting on? Is he actually dead now? It's, it's, it's the same Gary. No, it's not. It's Gary Prime. Other Gary died. The other immortal Gary. He died and his father inherited. Look, there's the other Gary there. Gary Gary the Hammer of Gary. <laughs> he died and now his father, even though his Gary Prime is called Gary the Second, but that's because he was the second Gary to inherit it. Wow. And he just spawns in pretty strong from what I remember. Just as kind of a fun little thing. He became a dragon. He's normally the Dungeon Master's culture. He's sunny as well. Look at this fucking guy. Is he beloved by his vassals? He kind of is. I think Gary Gary might be might be here, here to stay. What a fucking guy. He's got a decadent dynasty though. Oh, very decadent. House Gary are not doing well for themselves. I mean, it's kind of hard to control such a, a gigantic dynasty as House Gary. Although there is only 14 of them still alive. Wow. What a fucking story. That's what was always fun about the Dungeon Master mod. Again, not to kind of toot my own horn. But it was kind of an experiment in... What could you do with the game engine that's just fun by itself, you know? Not like the other mod I made with all that ridiculous esoteric code in it. But the Dungeon Master is a simple concept on the on the, on the the surface that just throws those curveballs. And every campaign is different. It's just like so much replayability. I do want to add more events to it. I keep getting good ideas. People keep sending good ideas too. I feel like we need to, need to get back on that a little bit. As you may return from losing the holding, one of them hands you an X with a strange purple sheen. And a plus two etched on the handle. Sure, we'll take it. Maybe we can sell it again, huh? I still want to play Kekvit's chessboard event. Because apparently she spent ages on that. And I haven't had any chance at all to test it out. We just haven't had it pop up. I mean, there are a lot of lot of events in it, to be fair. But that one was that one was a lot of work. I remember it, it went through a load of uh, QA, essentially. Disallow it and banish the instigator. Dag? Allow this jewel. I wish I could just say always allow jewels. That's a mod. I don't make that. Fuck it. Let me write that down. <laughs> Never notify me about jewels. Please fuck off. Come on, more prisoners. Maybe today then, if nothing else. Oh, Berg again. It's not appropriate. <laughs> How dare you? What a disgusting thought. It's very inappropriate. Let's burn these prisoners. Let's see if at least today then we can maybe get up to that next rank. Anton, fuck yourself. Other Anton. <laughs> Both Anton, we we exclusively sacrifice men called Anton now and sacrifice a count. Those should be worth like three, you know. Ah! The might have been in time with the sight of blood could unsettle me, or the wailing of a child could make my dagger quake and fill my mind with dread. But no longer, the gods have granted me the fortitude to perform their sacred work. We've become a hemophant, the second of the three ranks. Feudal vassals and city vassals hate us. Tribal vassals fear us, and they gain opinion. Look at us there. Wow. So when it says opposite trait opinion, I, I, I found a lot of people were kind of confused about that concept. Opposite trait doesn't mean a trait that is opposite. It can in certain situations, like for example, the Christian uh, seven sins and virtues. So pride is the opposite of humility. Greed is the opposite of charitable. All opposite means, though, in, in game terms are traits that can't coexist. So in this case, Hemophant cannot coexist with hemoarch or the one we had before hemophiliac uh so in this case opposite trait opinion those are the only opposite traits so they would have a, a higher opinion of us because we you know we would that's their lifestyle you know so that just makes a lot of sense but you just have to it's just one of those things weird we're kind of ck2 isms doesn't really make much sense that like an opposite would be a positive opinion So I've been reading some of the works of some fine lads called Charles Marx and Fred Angels. The Dungeon Master says, looking up from a little red book, their ideas of wealth and redistribution has given me an idea. No, my precious money. All playable rulers will have their wealth taken and redistributed. 
As a side note, the Dungeon Master doesn't know what redistributing means. Oh, you absolute cock. He's got an artifact? Oh, right, his cursed ring, I remember. Yeah, that's that's good. Culture group, Iranian. <laughs> Not sure that's entirely true. Um, He's got severe illness. Oh, God, he's got gout and leprosy. He's falling apart. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry, Dungeon Master. I mean, if he dies, another one will take his place. Oh, shit. He had an awkward encounter in public. And now he's stolen everybody's gold. What, what, was, what was I trying to get at? I think I wrote that one. Karl Marx and Fred Angels. What is that supposed to be a reference to? I know, obviously, one is Karl Marx, but... I, I, I'm 90% sure I wrote that one. I have no fucking clue what the hell I was on about. Oh, well. More prisoners. Hello there. Ah, and uh, someone's trying to challenge us for our rank. So we have to defend this. Otherwise, we go down in in the rankings. It's got 30 personal combat. I think we're fine. Excellent. Glory and prestige. Good work. Uh, Ingemar, welcome. And you know what? Maybe we should leave it there for today. Because I will admit, I'm a little bit pissed by that. <laughs> Motherfucker. It's me like, oh, we're going to build the city of wonders. You know, we'll save up all this gold. We're going to take 1,600 gold. Gone immediately. Gone immediately. To be fair, if we really focus down tomorrow on raiding, we could certainly get it done. If we kind of stick to this strategy, hanging around the UK, getting plenty of gold and, and, and prestige from that one. I think we could do it quite fast. Another daughter. Uh, Armbjorn. Sorry, a son. It says son right there. Armbjorn. Idiot Armbjorn. You can tell it was a son from the fact that it's an idiot. We've cursed our bloodline. I'm not even going to randomize you yet, Armbjorn. We'll wait until you're a little older. Just in case we end up playing as you. And there we have it. The Dungeon Master giveth and the Dungeon Master taketh away. In this case, the Dungeon Master very significantly taketh away. But look, we're already a tenth there. We're already a tenth of the way there. Just got to keep running these boats back and forth. We are good in no time. Thank you all for watching. Apologies about this episode being kind of slow at the beginning. Again, I had to kind of get back into it after four days away. I had to, had to work out where we were and what we were doing. But this is good. We're back on track. Oh, well, we were back on track and the fucking Dungeon Master turned up.